This is what the protesters have wanted to hear. They wanted action and, and they want resolution. The detail. Yeah, I think um, we have to see whether it's going to be enough for people, if it's going to placate the public. So far, we haven't been given very much information. We heard from the judiciary yesterday that a number of people, they've not specified how many exactly, have been arrested in relation to this. The questioning um, is continuing. That's what we've heard from the judiciary, that they're going to continue to question these people. We don't know anything more. We also heard from President Hassan Rouhani that he's very keen to see the judiciary set up, set up a special court to investigate what happened thoroughly. We saw some protests, uh, some, some quite vociferous protests um, due to this, this level of, of I suppose, self-inflicted uh, you, you know, issues. What is it going to take to appease that anger on the streets in regards to this incident? It's a very good question. Um, I mean, right now, what we know and what we've heard so far from mm. our own reporter who is in on the ground in Tehran, our colleague Arsalan uh, Shahla, we heard that last night there were there was a very, very strong presence of security forces in Tehran around the city. When that happens, it tends to um, kind of put off people from coming out into the streets right. because they fear a massive pushback. Um, I think what people are still waiting for is maybe some resignations. We haven't heard that. We haven't heard any signs of who will definitely resign, whether that's going to happen at all, whether it's going to come from the IRGC or from the government. This, um, we don't know. It's quite possible that there are still discussions going on about that. But we have to wait and see whether people are going to come out into the streets again.